Hello everybody, I'm Silas Prime 7 and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on Low Energy Gaming. Now when we last left off, we had just found Kirahim here. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Uh, no! 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 Come on! Come on! Okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. God damn it. I'm getting real tired of his shtick. Okay, okay. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Just let him. Throw them at me. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it, bring it. Bring it, boy, buddy. This is taking a while. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. No! Damn it! Come on, come on! No, no, no! Okay, this is getting annoying. Damn it! Ow. Take that. Damn it all. 
Okay, okay. Damn it! There we go. Okay, is he finally bringing out his actual blade now? About time. Ow. Ow. Oh shit. Okay. There we go. Now he's dying. Okay. There we go. Okay, I kind of expected that. Oh, come on! Really? There we go. Ow. Good thing I still have that fairy. Okay. I think we're getting close. There we go. We got him. <clears throat> Enough of this foolishness. I am Girahim, Demon Lord. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is. You are still nothing. Not just a human, a human child. And yet you prevail. <coughs> you filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for aeons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will drag you into an eternity of torment. <laughs> That's nice and all. But you'll have to beat me first. Unlike how I just beat your ass. Wabam! Oh good, heart container. I can use that. <coughs> Alright, increased life. Always good. And so, we go and get Din's flame. It's about time, let me tell ya. Yes. And so we fully upgrade our sword. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Ooh, pretty.
All right, Fee. Time to do your business. And give us the final power of the goddess. Of the three goddesses. All right. And there we go. Our sword has reached the peak. Damn it, that thing ain't beautiful. Nice. And we've achieved the third piece. The Triforce is within us. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the Master Sword. Damn straight I do. With this sword's great power, you can awaken the Gate of Time within the Sacred Temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. <laughs> Don't you know it. Just a second. Fee is essentially the spirit of the sword. And yet, when the sword changed, it changed practically each time you got a flame. Fee did not. Eh, I guess you can say that the spirit was the same, though the body has changed. Ah oh well. Either way, it's time to go to the sacred temple. And probably face off with the imprisoned again. Alright. Because, I mean, he was very not happy when we opened up or when we activated that block. Oh, there we are. And down we go. <coughs> Still kind of sick. Behind the temple. Perfect place. Yes. Because I don't really have anything I need to... Whoa! Where the hell did you guys come from? Damn. They just popped out. Hey, Gorko. You know what the hell happened here? I came across an ancient volume in the course of my research. Want to know what it had to say? Uh, sure, Gorko, but there were monsters right there. Did you did you not see them? Mm. Arrow in repose. Ye who learns to strike targets from afar, draw this shape so that it may be known. That's nice, Gorko, but there's monsters here. There weren't monsters here before. Well, that is what is written there. Does that mean anything to you? Kind of. I mean... I don't think you're understanding what's happening here. The temple is... It seems the temple's under attack. All right. Hey, old lady. We've returned. Ah, your sword. There can be no doubt. 
The sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Silas. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you and the sword you carry. Come, Silas, you must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a skyward strike and it will surely awaken. So, I have the Triforce. It's a force built from three parts. Climb upon the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. All right, then. Whoa! -ho! <coughs> no, I fear the seal has given away once again. That terrible we beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I knew this would happen. I told you this would happen. I wish it had not happened, but it did. But there was no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Silas, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> All right. All right, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. Oh, Groose. If you can just help me out, it would be good. I don't know if you will be able to help me out, but... Hey, I'll give you points for trying. Hey, Silas! Where are you, Groose? Oh, right there. Duh! Try not to drool on your shirt at you as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. Oh, shit. I call it the Grooseinator! He's gotta do something stupid, isn't he? Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You won't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid out rails for her to run on, all by myself, of course. You got rid of the fences. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. <laughs> You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on, though. That monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I've put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till there, then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Okay. It actually seems like a decent enough plan. I mean, it's probably gonna end up destroying the ceiling stone, but hey. That ceiling spike. Uh-oh. Here he comes. And there he is. Ain't he just beautiful? Wait, do you... Do you have fucking arms now? He didn't have arms before. Oh, shit. Look at that! Seems our ugly friend grew, himself a, grew itself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch, because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to do to stop it. Okay. 
crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up we go. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Silas, the machine's all loaded and ready as a, to smash. If that flabby sack of teeth tries to climb the wall, I can blast it off from here with a bomb. When you want some backup from me, just send me the signal with up. Well, just... Okay, okay. Let's do that. Ha! She packs a mean punch, doesn't she? I tell you, I, I was in love in the first time I pulled this lever. I'll start loading her back up with another bomb, so keep beating on Big Ugly until I, get, until I give you the signal. Ow. Okay, okay. I know what I need to do now. Fingers and toes. There we go. Knock the nail in. Oh, he did not like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I hear you, Groose. Kind of busy right now. Nailing that shit back into him. Stop right there. Uh oh. Okay, everything's fine. Uh oh. Everything is not fine. This is far from fine. Come here, you bastard. Oh, motherfucker. Up I go. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Oh. Did I beat him? Did I beat him? Jesus. Vibrating like nothing else. Yes! Now let's seal that bastard again. You get down and you stay down. I'm tired of you. Now, Silas, strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. That shit was getting close. All right, there we go.
All right. I don't think that's quite enough for what we need to do, though. Because that's only a two triangles of seal. We need the full Triforce seal. Does seem useful, though. Nice work there, Silas. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Groose. I know I saved your tail. Actually, you were pretty helpful there. Good job, Groose. Now let's get that ta gate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. <coughs> so hey, Groose was actually helpful here. And I didn't even need to yell at him for anything. All the way up. And hey, look at that. We are fully at the top. And so, we must go back into the past. It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Silas. As do you, Groose. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been there. So don't. Duh. Aw, oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could to help. I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Cause hey, you got some potential there, Groose. You could be an inventor. Silas, you must wonder just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I could tell you, but suffice to say it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the Gate of Time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it at its source, or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate with a skyward strike. Come on already. Charge that sword of yours with that sacred force stuff that Granny was talking about. And zap the gate of time. Right on, Granny. Mm. Indeed. Now, Silas, go. Go to the gate. All right, fine. Bam! Open this gate of time and run right through. Oh, now this is... Whoa. It's lighting up. Holy shit. This is pretty awesome. That's a big game of Tetris. But every block has its place to fit. Ooh. It makes a gear. Nice. Jeez. Fancy. Now that is something. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Do not fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. 
Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Silas. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. All right. Gotta go through time. And space. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Silas. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might bust free again. If I can be here, I can give it a little time. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Bruce, you're really redeeming yourself here. Besides, if not, I'm not here. Who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? 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 Nah, forget about it. Jeez. At the beginning, Groose was such an ass, but now he's actually turning out to be a good guy. When you see Zelda, tell her that I, tell her I said, "What's up?" What's up? Jeez, even Link is amazed. <laughs> All right. Let's get through here. Jeez. An ever turning gear of time. You know, Garahem's gonna follow right behind us, right? Whoa. Okay. Impa, I'm gonna speak to you in a moment, but that's it for today's episode. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. So, take it easy. <laughs>